Hello everybody, welcome to the tutorial of how to use Google Play Console. This is the website that you use to deploy and release your Android applications to the Google Play Store. So whatever you use, basically uh, I use Gapsy for Android development, but you could do anything you want to create your Android app and all you need is the Android APK file in order for you to complete it and view all the proper details about your application. I'll first go over the iDaydream Studios app created by Gapsy. And right away you see that in the dashboard, there are a lot of different options here for how you want to release your app. And they all have to do with different kinds of testing. So for example, we could have a hundred internal testers based off of some email list. You could test your app with a larger group. You could test your app with a link. You could have pre-registration or you could just go ahead and launch it and then you could do rolling updates as you go along. These options are entirely up to you and how you want your app to be released. If your app is pretty robust, if your app has lots of features that maybe you're kind of hesitant on deploying right away, maybe you should just do some of these testing options. But what I want to go over is the way that you actually deploy your app, you have to upload a APK file here. You can upload more things if you want. You could upload a expansion file or a mapping file if you want. These are all sort of details that if you're a developer, maybe you understand more about, but right now all you need to know is that you do need an APK, not the source code for you to review your release. So let's go right over to create a new app. So we'll walk you through how exactly it is you create an app and what are all the details that you could customize your app with. So I'm gonna just call it new app, call it app, it's gonna be free. You do have to check both of these and then you do create app. So right away, we're going into the dashboard. So when you create a new app, there are more options here for you. Uh, the ones that you really need to consider are the setting up your app options. So you go in here, go down to each category. You have to fill all of these out before you could even go here and decide whether you want to test it or release it. Say all functionality is available. You see it's crossed off here. So you keep going down the list. So right now I'm going to say, no, my app does not contain ads, but there are a variety of ways in which you could generate ads policies that will allow you to actually display ads in your app content rating based off of what you reveal to Google Play. They're going to tell you what your app will be rated in different countries. So if you want a dating app, if you want, you know, share nudity or graphic violence, I want to say no to all those things. Maybe I'll do some digital goods, save. So right here, it shows you what your app will be rated, who has access to your app based off of age restrictions. And so if there is a social aspect to it, maybe there is some inappropriate language. You could also specify your target audience a little bit more with the next one. You see right here that certain age groups are already prohibited because of your questionnaire. So you could basically even customize it further, say 18 or over only, 16, 17. So in store presence, basically, 
it all depends on what your age group is. And then here is your summary. Now back to the dashboard. News app, is it a news app? No. Select an app category. Right here you could select what type of app you have to further customize your target audience. And you can optimize your SEO right here by adding more tags and further shrinking and prioritizing certain audiences. Now on your store listing, this is what your app will look like in the stores. And I say stores because you can also specify what your app would look like in certain countries and also change the language of your app. But just for this tutorial, this is just the general main store. The graphics, app icon, feature image, video, which is you if you have a YouTube channel for your company or whatever you're releasing your app from, this is a, a great way just to increase promotion value. You also should upload some screenshots as well. You can see I've added icons, a banner, screenshots. You could have a tablet emul emulator here and further specify how your screenshots would look like. You could have custom store listings which is how you would like your app to look like in certain countries or whether it's pre-registration or not. And you could translate your app to any, kind, any sort of language you like. After you deployed your app, you could check your performance here. How many people have downloaded your app? How many people have looked at your app? How many people in which countries in how many installations you'd check your conversion rate here for your marketing purposes ratings reviews and then analysis and if you decide to do any testing your feedback can be found here as well you can make your app paid if you want and if you have in-app products you could have a payments profile here if you want people to buy products from your app. You have to set this up for any sort of transaction that goes on inside your app will be forwarded to your pay payment profile. And everything else here sort of, you don't really need to really know. It's, this is just mainly for creating a simple app. It's very, very customizable. From store settings to API keys to languages, to outreach, to target audiences. You could pretty much customize this app as detailed as you possibly want. Thank you for tuning into this tutorial, and I wish you luck in your future app building endeavors.